the Zeppelin Bend. Hello there everybody, welcome back. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the Zeppelin Bend. And basically the Zeppelin Bend is designed to join two ropes together. And the beautiful thing about this particular bend is that no matter how much pressure or strain you put on the rope, it is so easy to undo, even if the ropes are wet, because all you do is just get on the loops like so, get on the loop there like so, and it just comes undone really nice and easy. And so that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do the Zeppelin bend. But stick with this video, stick with this video, because I'm gonna show you two ways of actually tying the Zeppelin bend. And so, the first way is coming up. So let's get knotting. So the first way of tying our little Zeppelin bend is very, very easy. This is on the table method. Following this, I will show you another method just in your hand so you're not doing it on the table. But this is just so you can see how the structure of the actual knot works. So the first thing we do is we remember the number 69 and who couldn't forget the number 69? And what we basically do is we get hold of one chord and we form a number six like so. So just there, I have formed a number six. And you can see here now, my working end is actually going over my standing end like so. Now, we then go to the right of that to our other chord, the other lead that we're gonna to use to join the two chords together, and I form the number nine. And so basically, what I'm doing is, I'm forming the number nine in exactly the opposite way of the way I formed my six. So in this one, there's the standing end, and it's going round and the working end goes underneath the standing end like so. Okay, so then I pick up my cord like so and lay the number six on top of the number nine. And let's put that in the middle like so. There we go, we are in the middle like so. And now all I do is take the working ends and for example, if I get hold of the number six first, I take the working end from the number six and pass it underneath everything and bring it up through the hole there like so. And then with the number nine, this chord here, I do exactly the opposite of what I did to the one to the number six. I go down through the hole. And then once you've done that, pull your leads through, pull it through so that it all comes up nice and tight. And then you can see here now, that the Zeppelin bend has formed itself in our knot. So that is one way of tying the Zeppelin bend. That's the on the table method. And what I'm gonna do next is show you how to tie it just in your hand. Um, but also the other thing is, whilst you're watching this video, if you enjoy these videos, please like, please dislike, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know the routine and leave a comment, please, please, please leave a comment and tell me anything you want about knotting, whether you hated this or whether you use this knot or whether you prefer other knots. Just tell me about it. I enjoy hearing it. I don't enjoy the abuse that much, but I'll take it and I'll respond to it all, don't worry. Okay, so that is the Zeppelin bend tied in the 69 method. And once again, with this knot, I can pull it up really, really tight, and even if it's wet, if it binds a bit, all you do is get hold of each end and just twist it in on itself. Like so, just twist it in, and you can see now, it's all becoming easy to undo. And so there we have it, and that's undone, and we have freed our ropes. So that is the first method of tying the Zeppelin bend. Okay, now I'll show you the in the hand method, which is a little bit different, but once you've mastered that, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to do the 69, lay it one on top of the other and things like that. So back in a second for the other method. I just wanted to say before we go on to the other method as well, the reason why this is a good way of joining two ropes together is because if say for example two ropes are joined like so at this point like like this at this point here, as the rope moves, 
it can easily wear and chafe in that area and therefore actually weakening the structure of the rope itself. So it's always best to, to join two lengths of rope with a knot that binds it nicely in place and doesn't allow it to chafe against itself. Okay, and now on to the next method. Okay, the second way of tying it and tying it in your hand so you don't have to lay it out in the 69 position is that basically you get hold of your two cords like so and you just flip them back on each other. You could be hold you can be holding this at the time, but I'm trying to do it without my fingers in the way. And basically, once you've so basically what we do is we just get our working ends and bring them back to either side of our cords like so. We then take the left hand one and bring it underneath between them, around there and through the loop like so. And then we take this one here and all we do with that one is bring it round underneath and bring it in like so and then pull up on all the leads and then as I pull them up, there we go, there's my Zeppelin bend has appeared in there like so. So very quick, very easy and can be tied on your hand as you're doing it. Um, so let's untie that again and let's do that one again. So basically, and don't forget, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. But please put a comment in so I know exactly what to do in future for the correct way of doing things. Okay, so the quick way of tying the Zeppelin bend is we basically take our two leads like so and bring them back on themselves. And then at this point here, I bring the left hand one underneath, round, and then through my loop there. Okay, so that's easy enough done. And then this one here goes just underneath, back round, through the loop, pull up on the leads, and there we have it. We have our Zeppelin bend tied there. So that's two ways of tying it. A little bit uneven. I could dress that up a bit more. But that's two ways of tying it. The 69 method and the one in your hand method. And for those of you who want, I'll put a slow-mo in now so that you can actually do it, see it being done in slow motion.